today we're going to learn to finger knit. You need a ball of yarn or some yarn. You're going to start by making a loop around your thumb, like so. And you can tie a little knot. Like this. Get it tight. If you are right-handed, you're going to do it on your left hand. And if you're left-handed, you're going to do it on your right. So we'll start, once you have it on your loop, on the right, on the correct hand, you're going to go across the palm and around the finger, across the finger and around, across the finger and around, across the finger and around, like so. And then you're going to make a little claw. When you make a claw, you should see one ring on every finger. Now, the string ended on your pinky, so you're going to go around the pinky one more time, so you should have two rings. And then you're going to loosen the back ring here and pull it over, pull it over the front and take it off the finger. And when you take it off the finger, it'll make a nice little knot. And then you're going to take the string and you're going to pull it over the second finger and you're going to pull up the back and bring it forward. And you're going to pull up on top of the next finger and you're going to loosen the back and pull it off the finger. And again, in front and pulling the back ring over, sorry, and off the finger. And if that happens, just put it back on. When you get to the thumb, you're going to also do the same thing. Put it in front, pick up the whole loop, take it off your finger. And then you're going to do the thumb again, but this time going towards the pinky. So going this way now. And you're going to pick up the back ring. It'll be like a little V. And you'll pick up the back one, though, and drop it off the thumb. And again, like so. And you can see, you can start to pick up some speed here. And it becomes kind of a ritual. Don't worry if you're thinking, this looks a mess. Am I doing this right? If you only have one ring on each finger, you are doing it correctly. Some people do it another way, where instead of building the knitting in the palm of your hand, which is what we're doing, they do it building on the other side of your hand. That's fine too. Um, as long as you just have one ring over here. So you start building up these nice little rows across your fingers. And again, here. So now that you are really good at knitting and you should have some speed and some confidence going, picking up and pulling over, you'll start to build a little bit 